Seriously. Random encounters are probably one of the worst aspects of playing a JRPG. Yeah, great way to alienate vast majorities of gamers by having them stop every five steps for three minutes at a time to fight battles that aren't worth the gold or XP. Well, let's just put this into perspective. As of late, I restarted playing Final Fantasy VI after about a month or two of neglect. I had no idea what I was doing at the time, only vague memories of what I did previously. So, I decided to explore the land and check each town or cave to see if anything was there. The stretch of the land was pretty big. The trip was only made longer from the over excessive random encounters interrupting me from progressing. It feels like the developers are punishing me for wanting to explore the world they made. It's such a cheap way to drag the game out, I just want to get to the next boss battle. This is supposed to be role-playing? Forcing me to fight with no way around it? I can tolerate them to an extent, but honestly, after 20 hours, just fuck off! I don't want to do it anymore! They are the entire reason I stopped playing Digital Devil Saga. You might remember it for its story or its great gameplay, but all I remember is... The point I'm trying to make is... Get the phone, you little The faggot. point I'm trying to make is... That random encounter should have been one of those things that just got phased out of the natural evolution of video games. I understand it was necessary for a lot of games that had limited hardware, but by the time of the Super Nintendo, we really should have gotten over it. I mean, look at Super Mario RPG. That game was great. No random encounters at all. Same thing with Persona 4. All the monsters are shown on the dungeon map, and the game has mechanics based around that, which determine the order of turns. When Dragon Quest IX transitioned from Dragon Quest VIII, they decided to take out the random encounters, which is probably one of the best choices they've ever made. And it should have been done sooner. You see, the most efficient way to level up in these games is to kill metal slimes, and they have a rare encounter rate. Plus, they also have the tendency to flee before the fight even starts. How do you justify this? Look at how long it takes for me to find one! And when it appears, it runs away! Son, are you fucking playing those Ching Chong games again where those three little faggots take turns hitting each other? Why don't you come down here and I'll teach you how to fight like a real man, you little queer. Now what's this? This is The Legend of Zelda 2 on the NES. It has an overworld map and enemy sprites roaming around it. <laughs> 